Hello everybody, Dan14Prime here. Thought I'd do a short video share out here on the new addition to the Prime Pyre. This is the Sideshow Collectibles Quarter Scale Carnage. Edition size on this guy is 3500 He runs about, call it 650 bucks. And what you see is what you get. No exclusive on this piece. He's shipping now if you're interested. Links down in the description below. Now if you're interested in checking out an unboxing of this piece, check me out on my Instagram, same handle, Dan14ThPrime. It's out on my story. It'll be saved down into my profile, along with many other statue unboxings and sort of first impressions, so be sure to check that out. This piece here, dimensionally, about 21 inches tall, about 18 inches wide, tendril to tendril, and about 16 inches deep. That's of airspace because the base footprint is much smaller than that, even still. And I will say this piece has been growing on me as I've had them together and out of the box. First impressions out of the box didn't blow my mind. I'd still say it's not a blow your mind type of piece, but it's a solid carnage. It comes together very nicely. And they give you a little bit of all those classic elements, the crazy looking portrait, the big clawed left hand, the big kind of weaponized right arm into the big knife blade thing. Of course, the tendrils flying all over. So with what they gave us with this piece, I feel like they touched all the key elements. You can always have an exclusive and have lots of different swap outs and things, but not always necessary. And I think what they packed into the design here ticks a lot of boxes. Now back to this isn't a blow your mind statue. Again, it's very solid, a simple design, very displayable, solid sculpt. It's Daniel Bell on sculpt. I would say the design and the character doesn't allow him to really show through his brilliance, which tends to be superhero male anatomy and just muscles and things like that. Those are more the types of characters and designs where you really see a piece and say, oh yeah, that's Daniel Bell. With this one and it being Carnage, it doesn't pop out as much, but what he done here is very, very solid and well done. The symbiote, the dark elements uh, really pop nicely. It's the nice blue black sort of colorized um, effect going on in there. So that's fantastic depending on how the light hits it and different pieces. So that looks really, really cool. It's what pops on the piece the most, as well as just their flare with flying everywhere. Very dynamic sort of effect to the overall piece. Now the underlying red for me just comes off a little bit too matte, a little blah. I think it's missing a bit of sheen. Not that you want it to be glossy, but I, but I think like that satin eggshell sort of sheen that we typically see on the Spider-Man pieces as I look up at the latest Symbiote Spider-Man in my even prior before that, um, Spidey PF, a little bit of kind of a satin sheen to it. The, the red is missing that, so it comes off just kind of flat and blah, dare I say, even almost plastic looking up close. And on that plastic point, this is a polystone statue. I had to go back and check the listing on Sideshow itself. They say polystone. It comes off very kind of light and flimsy feeling to me, so I'm surprised. And of course, it's not solid polystone. I'm sure the tendrils and things like that are probably a resin of some sort, but even the base really light and the piece overall assembled is is pretty light which is not a problem you put it on the shelf it displays not like polystone's a precious precious metal or anything it's just a composite itself but at least in terms of those first impressions out of the box you'll notice it and then for me the main area where i continue to notice it is just how the piece displays you'll see on my instagram i'm basically spinning the piece around on my kitchen counter with like no turntable it's just that light and just kind of spins that easily on its base and it's a little bit kind of not perfectly flat on the bottom so it'll kind of wobble a little bit and that's if it was heavier I feel like it would just sit anchored a little bit better and hold its ground again not a big deal but something you may notice but overall a solid solid uh, carnage here I think the best sideshow is done not near as bold or as ambitious as what we see XM doing with their uh, yet to be released uh, is it Maximum Carnage or Absolute Carnage uh, inspired piece? But for a classic Carnage that takes a lot of those key uh, characteristics that you'd like to see in the figure, I think this one, this one does that very well. And just to get you a little finer appreciation for the details, let me just give you sort of the quick flyover here. Again, a nice underlying kind of muscular texture, almost reminds me of like Dead Man, sort of look across how, how all the red underlying symbiote has been has been done and again the blue black just sort of lays over that very nicely brings some some light reflection some sheen a little pop the base has a little callback to his uh his prison cell origin and i think the portrait does a nice job too 
haven't talked about it enough probably, but really just nasty looking kind of mouth fangs and everything as you'd want with Carnage. Got those big crazy just unwieldy eyes. So those look cool. But I think for one portrait we get here, this really is going to bring a lot of what you want. So there you have it, guys. Sideshow Collectibles' latest quarter-scale Carnage PF. Very displayable piece, dimension-wise. I would say solid, you know, reliable design. Nothing really ambitious or fantastic, but a lot of key comic elements and characteristics from Carnage that we'd want to see have been incorporated into the design. And again, Daniel Bell sculpting it through. Again, it's not a design or character that allows him to do his best or shine his most strengths into the piece. But for what he's done here, um, excellent job with really no boring or unattended to elements of the sculpt at all. It's all filled in very nicely. Lots of details all over the place. And again, I'd say very good portrait. So thanks for checking out the video. Again, the unboxing, some first reactions, thoughts out there on Instagram. Same handle, Dan14Prime. Links down in the description below to Sideshow and other assorted shopping places if you're looking to pick up Carnage here or any collectible. Any shopping you do, the link supports the channel, no cost to you. So thank you very much for that. Appreciate it. I'll see you next time.